Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Steph and today I am checking out Ghost Ship. I don't know anything about this movie, but honestly, the real reason I'm reacting to it is because it is one that my dad suggested. So uh, without further ado, let's jump right on into Ghost Ship. Doesn't really look like a waiter. What is that? <gasps> what the fuck was that? Oh my god. Are they all just gonna fall like. Oh, it's the fact that they're all standing. Did she get hit too? Just cause she's short. I'm wondering if- Oh God. Oh my goodness. Okay. How did they film stuff like this? Was, okay, so she did survive? Oh. Oh, don't. Oh, I thought we were gonna see like brains. Hey, that's the guy from Grey's Anatomy. Like the first few seasons or something. I'm trying to figure out what that cord even was that cut them, like how did that cut them in half? Or just the tension of it and the speed is what cut them through. That's it, now get back here. Come on, Axe, you heard the man. Is that Carl Urban? Right. It is. Man, I swear to God, I feel like I see him in everything now. Well, here's to the best damn salvage crew in the business. <laughs> Think I could talk to you alone for a sec? You talk to me, you talk to my crew, that's the way it is. Do we want that? Last month, I was out in the middle of the street and I came across this. You found a boat in the middle of the ocean of all places. <laughs> you get a name off this boat? No, I, I put it out of my head until about two days ago and I saw it again. Okay, let's say that uh, we're a little bit interested. What's your ring? What's in it for you? I want twenty percent finder fee, whatever she's worth. How would you even really know what a boat like that is worth? Like to give a percentage? I have no idea. Although I guess if you're in that world, you probably have some idea. I mean, we've been out to sea for six months already. I got the fiance waiting on me. Remember? What do you think a ship like that could be worth? Millions, thousands, could be worth nothing. What's the split? We split it even, six ways. It's good motivation. Ten percent. Study your twenty percent finders fee. It's a big cut. That's the way it is. Take it or leave it. Couldn't they just go find it themselves now, knowing that there's something there? Fine. Or did he did he not specify location and I missed it? Look, I mean, do you think I'm stupid enough to tell you where a fortune might be without some insurance? Mm -hmm. There's five other salvage boats on this dock that would jump at what I got. I come with you. So you take it or leave it. I like the attitude. Join the ride, Jack. <laughs> Seasick. I don't know if I would be. I don't know. I don't think I've been on a boat. Yeah. I think you get up here. What is it? I think you should see this. Mysterious. I'm telling you, there must be some kind of glitch with the machine. It was there a second ago. I saw it with my own my eyes. eyes. There's nothing there. There, take a look. There it is, right in front of you. Huh? Do you see what I'm saying? This is Tugboat Arctic Warrior. Do you read me? Yeah, it's gone again. So would this little girl have died on there then? If no one knows about this ship? I don't know if that'd be worse though, depending on what that death looks like. Oh shit! Oh, was he right facing it? Oh, thank God. Oh my god, life flashed before your eyes. Huh? Now do you believe me? It's the Antonio Graza. This is civilian tugboat Arctic Warrior. Is there anyone aboard? How does that work that they can hear from their, I don't know what that is, pager thing? Missing on the 21st of May 1962 off the coast of Labrador. 
Funny thing is, there was no distress signal, no contact. She just disappeared. She was gone. Because <laughs> it was pretty sudden. You know what this means? What? It means under the law of the sea, she's ours. Let's not keep a lady waiting, guys. And that's because it's international waters? Okay, when we get on board, stay together. We don't know what kind of shape she's in, okay? I'm surprised their boat seems totally fine. Hey, Murphy, please remember to keep all channels open. Forward mask is history. Captain Murphy, are they a couple or a hell no? She's like a daughter to him. He'd be lost with her. You sure no survivors ever turned up, Murphy? Sure as we're walking on the garage of Dutch. Let's go. That'd be so creepy. And not just knowing that what happened on there, but I don't know. I think I'd be too scared to go <laughs> looking through it. Yeah, well, whoever was on here originally sure left in a hurry. Oh, they're going to lose contact. Hey, check out all those champagne bottles. It looks like we missed one hell of a party. And one hell of a hangover. Oh, that's creepy. What is it for clocks stopping in movies? <gasps> Jesus. I wouldn't be laughing. I'd find this whole thing too weird and look into that as something sketchy. Come on. Oh, her little toy thing. <gasps> All right. Everything going up there. I'm just going to take a really early guess that Murphy's going to die and the guy from Grey's Anatomy, he'll end up having to go on the boat because he can't communicate with them or hear back from them and he will end up dying as well. That's my guess. What's going on? How far down is that? Oh, that's, yeah. Oh my God. She looks totally, so she must have died just normal, I guess, not cut in two. Yeah, if I were Julie, I think her name is, I wouldn't say anything either, because I'd, I'd just be thinking people are going to think I'm crazy. Tom's not responding either. She must have rode on full throttle till she was bone dry. Let's get all this documentation back. Are you okay? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. No, I just saw a weirdo little girl standing <laughs> in the middle of a disgusting ship. To watch. Congratulations, buddy. No, look again, you moron. It's a digital watch. Do the math. Oh, the 60s. So we're not the first people to board this ship, but she's ours now. Or did something happen to those individuals that were there last? I actually didn't think we'd see them back on this boat. I thought the action would just start taking place on the big one. Two months after she set sail, she was sighted by a group of fishermen off Tripoli. So they went on board. You know what they found? Nothing. No passengers. No crew. What's our plan? Tie her up. Tug her in. Could that boat tug it in? Sentils gets the engines working right. It would take us two weeks minimum to tow a vessel this size. But for my share of what she's worth, I'd drag her big ass back to Anchorage myself. <laughs> You okay? You seem quiet since you came back. Does this guy know something? I mean, I don't know how he could. I think I saw something I couldn't possibly have seen. Like what? No, it's crazy. It doesn't matter. No, I'm curious. Tell me. Yeah, like, I don't know. He's a little too interested. I think I saw a little girl. On the... the boat? Looking right at me. Thanks. See you in the AM. Good night. So, is he interested in her? Because he's mentioned a couple things now about her specifically. She's got a big hole. She's sinking. This is where the damage is, see? Wouldn't it? But that's like in the 60s. Would it not have sunk already? Looks like she's been hit pretty recently. About a week ago, I'd say. Oh. Slowly but surely, she's been pushed towards those rocks. Last time she hit them. What about next time? There won't be a next time. We've oh, got she'll three be sunk? days to fix it. Oh, God. The breach should give a probably patch. Then we'll weld shut the flooded compartments, pump out the water from the collision bulkhead and top of that. The rudder's jammed. What, is, what does all that mean? That's a lot of work for three days. I mean, if it's worth that much, I'm trying. With the gear we got on board, I can't fix our little engine problem. I'll call it. Uh, I wouldn't do that if I was you, Griff. Maritime law states. Yeah, I know what maritime law states. We just don't want any unexpected guests. They were making sketchy decisions. Alright, Capitano. 
like only he's allowed in the captain's room or something. To whack her head on the ground. Because there's that sense of uneasiness, even from his, this is his first time being on here. I may have misunderstood something, but obviously they know the people that were on here were dead because no one's been able to find this boat. And this was in 1962, I think they said. So is there not the wonder as to why they died or how they died? Or are they thinking like maybe they starved to death because it's been sitting there so long and no one could get help to them? Epps, the engine room is totally flooded. Epps, can you hear me? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. What happened? You okay? Oh, are you sketchy or what? Is he going to drink that? The whole bottom's riddled. Why would they be like <laughs> bad ghosts <laughs> anyways? Because it's not like they did anything to them. What? Where? I must be losing my goddamn mind. Yeah, he knows something. He totally knows something. Oh, was I filling with blood? Oh. Oh, are those bodies? Oh, the singer. Smurf, come in. Dot. Anybody? Oh, is he gonna see her? I don't know what Jack's purpose would be in this, though, if he knows something about it. Or maybe he's heard some sort of tale. I might need your help shutting it again, so get ready. Are you sure we need to- Oh my god! Are those body parts? Oh! Oh my god! So since those bodies were in such good shape, I'm assuming those were people that had found this boat previously. Jessica, nice titties. <laughs> My God. Oh, yeah, there she is. Can you see her? No, I guess not. I wonder if they're haunting them just because they're disrupting their like place of rest. Hey! It's a 58 Jaguar X1. Would you care after seeing those bodies? There's something moving in there. Do you really want to find out? Oh, gross. Oh my god. Like money in there. Oh, it's gold. Is someone trying to call me? Who's Maureen? Don't go in there. Yeah, don't. Let's just leave it. You first you've seen enough up shit. Bodies hanging? That's one of the dudes. That's so not cool. Oh man, I would lose it. Yeah. I would not find that funny. You were fucking with us, we fucked with you. Why aren't you laughing? Oh. We just found a bunch of dead guys floating in the laundry room. They were doing it as room. Hold. How are we not focused on the dead bodies? I would literally see one and be bolting out of there. I wouldn't even think about anything else. No going back for gold, nothing. <laughs> the idea is exciting, don't get me wrong, but we know it's not gonna play out like this. How much you figure it's worth, boss? Two, three hundred million maybe, maybe more. Holy f I had no idea. There's no way somebody's gonna let this amount of gold just float away. Well, this has got something to do with it. And the markings have been filed down. Somebody didn't want this gold to be traceable. I didn't even know it had markings on it. It might have something to do with the reason why this ship disappeared when it did. If the gold's got something to do with 1962, 
And what about those guys that Epps found? I mean, they can't be more than three weeks old. Yeah, Jack Shit's Spence. Fucked up, Murphy. Yes, Bro, it is. Else, we're gonna do this. I say we do it now. I say we get our boat going, grab the gold, and get the hell out. Yeah, you don't need anything else. I mean, if I didn't think or assume at this point, this is a obviously haunted ship. I'd take the gold and then like announce the boat to the Coast Guard or whatever that that it's out there, and then whatever they want to do with it, they can do with it. He's still talking to the picture. Get those engines going. We're bringing the gold down. Yes, sir, Captain Sir. You see these gauges rocking. It's not gonna it's work. Santos, baby. And you uh, oh god. Is that propane? Hey yo, Greer! Fire it up. <laughs> We're gonna haul some ass out of here. Bring it on. No. Oh, is she gonna save them? Stop! You don't know what you're doing! <gasps> oh no. Yeah, they don't they don't want you taking their shit. Whoa, that was well, obviously quick. They just blew the whole thing up. Oh, he's he, he's got to be gone. Maybe Santos rushed engines didn't set up the gaskets right. I don't know. Hey Jack, did you find anything out about this ship before you sent us out here? Look, I mean, we've got the gold and we we are still alive. Yeah, yeah but tell that to how are you gonna? Asshole. Hey. Also, how are you gonna get back, anyways? Santos came out here out of his own free will, just like the rest what of us. What is that? Huh? Huh? Yeah, that's not cool to say. I wonder what Jack's motivation would be in doing this. Like, he doesn't seem surprised at the creepy things that are happening, and he's pretty accepting of this guy dying. All right, here's the plan. We're professional salvers with a fortune on board. I say we do what we do best. We fix this rust bucket. We have the materials. We have the manpower. Why don't we just build a raft and get off of this thing? Even with the warrior, we were stretching to get this done in three days. You're the best bot welder I know. Come on. We can do it right now, but I need you. Yeah, Greer's got the right idea. I love the contrast of her young innocence and the way she looks next to this haunted boat where... <laughs> A whole bunch of people were f***ing cut in half. Is he like a recovering alcoholic or something? I was just wondering the way he seemed hesitant the last time he grabbed it. I'm not sure how helpful that's going to be either. <laughs> I should have called it in. Damn! You knew better! I'll make it home to you, baby. I swear. Oh, I hope he does. He's not going to. Oh, God. Oh, it's like gross to even watch. It's all right. No way. No, really. It's good. Is there going to be something in it? Mm. Oh, wow. We're going to try that. That's good. That's great. I kind of like that guy. <laughs> Katie. Do you go or do you not? I don't. <laughs> yeah. There's something on your... Oh! Oh! It just like turned into... Was that maggots? Oh god, that is gross. Oh, don't trust anything you see. I kind of feel like at this rate we should all know not to go places by ourselves. Like, at least Munder and Dodge are always together. Then again, when she's been with Jack, Jack's questionable, so. <gasps> did that just open on its own, or did she open that? Is he gonna just think he's seen stuff now because he's drunk? Oh, was it all gonna like clean up and go back to normal? Like how it was? Oh man, you would just be like losing your mind. We're all gonna start seeing the ghosties now. Cheat on, on your fiance with the dead girl, right? Hmm. 
Why are you taking that offer? Let's leave her be. Oh. Oh God. <laughs> Katie. Lord. Don't close it. Haven't seen them for years. Oh. Oh, that's her. They moved to New York. I was on my way to join them. You should have this back. I'm just gonna go right through her hand. Yeah. At least a seemingly nice one. Where are you going? Okay, now here's the thing. It's a ghost. I get it. But this, again, helpless romantic is like, you're going to cheat on your fiance. I know that's dumb. Don't come for me. Lorelai. She was a drift. We rescued her. The gold was in board the Lorelai. It's two days before your ship disappeared. Oh, so was it something on the other boat? Oh, and is that the guy, presumably, that turned the crank on that? No spirits are free to be with their families. Why aren't you with yours? We're all trapped here. My shipmates and I. Even the ones who aren't marked. When he has all the souls he needs and has filled his quota, we'll all be ferried. <laughs> Can she not talk about it? What's wrong? He doesn't want me talking to you. Yeah. But I'm not like the others. Katie, you need to tell me. You must go at once. Leave this ship while you still can. Okay, so they want he wants to fill a quota for something. You have to leave. Oh. Because of the plan, I'm trapped on this dream boat of yours. You're coming along for the ride. Oh, so he plans to kill him as well. You, sir, are going to get punished by this woman for doing this in some way. Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, God. Are we going crazy? Holy f I make you feel good. Hey. Oh, how bad did we hit him? He'll be safe here. Keep him in the aquarium. No, listen to me. He was drunk. Yeah, see, I don't know what's going on here. Look, he just tried to kill you. He stays in there. Let's go find Greer. Is this an easy to navigate ship? Because I'm thinking I wouldn't even remember where I put him <laughs> later on if I went to go get him out. No, it's at the heart. Found it. Belonged to this little girl. She told me to get off this boat. You mean she's talking to you now? So what the hell are you guys talking about? You're seeing ghosts, Epps? We stick with the plan. Fix the boat. Let's get going, guys. Yeah, like how much time have they wasted just like going on a little look around? I would just like, if this was the plan, go straight to it. Hunter, rudder's fixed. What do you think, Dodge? She'll hold. Well, that was easier than they made it sound. Control her drift as much as possible with the rudder, keeping her headed in this direction. We should just clear those islands. We may just get out of this yet. Zillionaires. Talking too soon, guys. Greer. Greer. I'm not gonna find him how you want to. I feel bad, like really bad for Katie. Oh. Oh, that was. I mean, it would have been bad anyways, but... Oh, shit. Number two's clogged. Who's going? <laughs> oh, I like their relationship. Come with me. I want to show you something. I mean, I'd trust her at this point. Ooh. Oh, can she show her what happened? Oh. Yeah, who's doing this? I love this music with whatever's happening right now. Oh, that was so gross. It's 
So how did she make it without being, oh God, killed like this? Oh, yeah, who are these workers? Oh, that's why in the pool. Are they killing each other off as well, though? Because they killed that older guy that was in one of those outfits. Is she going to be like the head person? Jack, that's got to be Jack. I swear to God. I don't know how. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, that's gross. That's got to be Jack. Oh, God. Yep. But how does that work? Like, who is he? How is he human? Wow. Next up are these guys. Murphy's dead. What? We have got to get off this boat now. There is a reason why the three of us are still alive. That's why he came after us. To fix his ship. What's happened? Get rid of this dude. I want you and Dodge to stay on the rudder here. Wait, but you just said Dodge, listen to me. I do not want you two out of each other's sight. Take this. Is he understanding what she's trying to say? Can he? Oh no! Oh! Oh my god. Oh no! Too bloody, isn't it? Oh, that is so gross. But the thing is, even saying they need to get off the boat, like, where are they gonna go, realistically? I'm gonna go check on apps. No, you're not. She said to wait here. Yeah, no, but I just wanna make hey, sure she she's said okay. To wait. So wait. Oh, he's gonna do something. What is he gonna do? You disgust me. What did you say? You heard me. I've seen the way you look at her. You worship her, yet you never had the balls to tell her because you're a weak, cowardly child. You live for her. You're willing to die for her. <laughs> But that, can that even kill him though? Cause he's, he's like a ghosty, right? Just, just do him in the head too. Oh, his eyes are gonna move in. Ah! Just get him in the head too! Yes. I shot Faramin. He's dead. He ain't. Trip's over. I'm sinking the boat. But that'll kill us. We're gonna have to take our chances. What about the gold? We're not getting the gold off this boat. Nobody ever does. That gold can give us everything we ever wanted. We could have our own boat. The two of us. Jesus, take one bar if you must. You and me. What are you talking about? Dodge, we gotta get- Now is not the time to confess your feelings. All right. Okay, you win. Oh, he's being weird. All right, fuck it, bitch! All right, you win! Oh, was he taking over him or something? This just seems really out of character. Why haven't you asked me where Munder is? Oh no. That's because I already know. So did he kill Dodge? Souls without sin can't be marked. But as long as I keep the boat afloat, we'll all go down together. You collect ships, I collect souls. And when I fill my quota, I send a boatload home. If I lose this ship, management won't be happy. What I'm asking for is an exchange. This ship for your life. Then I guess it's over. Oh, come on! All you have to do is fix the ship! Ah! Oh, that was, yeah. So who's management for him? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, I love this idea, Katie. But this woman would not have enough breath. I would think if not just because her adrenaline would be going like crazy over this. Oh. 
But now she's gonna like get back home. Someone just gonna have like happen to come by, like another boat and pick her up. And this is kind of like Titanic. <laughs> Oh, and she has the necklace. How would you even explain this though? Like, well, what are you doing in the middle of the water? Um, we found a ghost ship. And then to like their family and friends, most specifically, I'm thinking like Greer's fiance, she probably knows who she is. Are those the same? It's the gold, isn't it? What? No way. What? That was pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, I don't think it was anything mind blowing or, you know, there's nothing that necessarily stands out about it, but I was thoroughly entertained watching it. So I feel like that counts for something. The start of the movie really set a tone though with all of the passengers, or at least the portion we see being murdered by the, I don't even know what that is. It's not a rope, but something that, I don't know. It cuts through all their bodies and they're all split in half. That was an unexpected scene, especially to essentially start out the movie. Uh, but great way to start it, I think, really set the tone. <laughs> like I said, there's nothing like new or mind blowing about this movie. I figured out Jack was gonna be like the bad guy. I don't need to just say this. He was the bad guy pretty early on. When we get to see Katie take Epps back through, I don't know if it's considered a flashback or what it would be, but she shows Epps the whole, um, well, the carnage that ensued with all of the passengers dying and how they died. I loved the way that scene was shot with the music that went over top of it, especially because again, while I already guessed that Jack was gonna be the bad guy. I thought the reveal was done really well. Like we see all of these people that are involved in killing and slowly it goes down to less and less people. And then it's the woman in red and they make out. And then suddenly she's got a hook in her jaw. She is no more. And we turn around and see Jack all spiffied up in his suit. So I wasn't, again, I wasn't surprised by the fact that it was going to be Jack, but I really liked the reveal of how they showed us that it was. I did really enjoy the scene between Epps and Jack when they were talking about why he's doing what he's doing. I think a lot of the evil guys in movies have this more just vindictive plan about people and like how they've wronged others. And I got the feeling like the way he spoke about it was very just like matter of fact. It, he didn't seem to have like a personal issue with the people themselves. Just you no, know, he has to collect a number of souls because management says so. And that's pretty much the end of it. Yeah, it was just an interesting way to explain his motivations and why he's doing what he's doing. But yeah, so this movie was really entertaining. I had a good time with it. And yeah, I guess that's it. So thank you for watching Ghost Ship with me and I will see you guys next time.